My first impression of Transistor is that it is such a striking game. Like right off the bat, you see the visuals, you're like, wow, and then they drop you right in. So we're gonna drop right into this video. What's up everybody, I'm Ghost Robo, and today we're taking a look at Transistor, the latest from Supergiant Games, a PlayStation 4 indie title from the makers of Bastion. This is a combat heavy game Quite mysterious in terms of storyline, very honest, very heartfelt in all aspects, and oh so freaking pretty. So let's show you what it's all about. You'll notice we have a talking sword. That's the sword talking. He narrates this adventure because my character has lost her voice and all the rest is kind of up in the air. It, it really does just throw you in. There's no opening menu screen. You're just in the game. You've lost your voice. This sword is talking. We have to take down these evil people. And here is this futuristic world, sweet looking hand drawn backgrounds, and a very deep combat system that, I'll admit right off the bat, is a little bit, there's a lot to grasp. I'm about an hour and a half in, and really getting the hang of things, so I thought this would be a great time to share it with you. Now, do we want to go to the back door, or the south frustum road? I believe the back door is just to our little, uh, little, basically like hideout. Um, so for now, we'll continue along and dive into some of the combat. You'll notice I've got four functions at the bottom of my screen. They're basically my attacks, um, and the main mechanic of this game is that you can stop time and write your name in cursive on the floor. So there's my name, Zach, and that is what Transistor is. No, um, this is a stop time game that can be played in real time. All your actions can be carried out in real time, but you take damage so rapidly, and there's a lot going on. I feel like it is almost 95% necessary to play in stop time. So what we're gonna do is use our many attacks to take down these processes. The game is all futuristic, computer-y, very technical. You'll notice all the flavor text around is is almost something out of a, a coding screen or a, you know, mainframe behind the scenes type, type look. And it, it's very cool. The soundtrack is lovely in the background. I do recommend headphones um, if you're gonna play this game. But what we're trying to do is take these guys out. So let's just start using stuff. I'm not gonna explain everything because it would be a very complicated affair, but we're just gonna dive in. And I'm gonna go in here, teleport over towards these guys. They're hiding out over here and send in a ricochet shot. Whoops. Let's send in a ricochet shot that I'll aim it right at this guy. Do some ricochet damage. Do a direct hit. He's protected quite heavily, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Why is he also protected? Maybe it's because I need to get in here. Now we'll ricochet. Now we'll crash and burn, and we'll take actually this guy out um, as best we can, and then teleport away to safety. So we execute everything, and you'll notice all these cool, beautiful fireworks are unleashing themselves upon these ugly enemies. Um, basically our goal is to defeat the guys, collect their cells so they don't respawn, and protect ourselves along the way. I'll explain my attacks more later, but for now, kind of just enjoy the show. These are some new enemies that are better protectors. You'll notice they're imbuing a shield upon this chicken-like man. Um, kind of reminds me of turrets from Portal in some way. So we're going to teleport over to him. My teleport is equipped with an amplifier that drops sparky sparks along the way. So if I can get in here, um, I will not only move really fast and cool, but also drop electric damagers along the way. We can get in behind this guy. Um, I guess his behind is technically here. No, where's your butt? I can't even find it. Anyways, if you backstep these enemies, you typically do more damage, so that's what I was going for. Um, but we gotta take out both of these sort of shield units in order to really attack the other guy effectively. Um, we gotta collect the cells, because if you don't, they will respawn. Um, I can go in here and just attack like this outside of the, uh, the freeze time, but you'll notice that makes me quite vulnerable. So we're gonna finish this guy off, teleport over this way, um, teleport again, over, over here, and then get this guy. Good work, good attack. All right, so we finish off the cheerleader. Now he is ours to consume once we chase down his chicken leg form. Um, I really like this game. It's 15 bucks. It's also available on Steam, uh, but I think it's a lot of fun, and I'm really enjoying kind of piecing things together. It's rare that a game doesn't hold your hand. And, like, I'll, I'll definitely say this game doesn't really hold your hand. The tutorial is a little bit left open to you. You kind of have to figure it out. It definitely assists you, but more so than most games, it requires 
Um, some brain power of your own. It's a pretty cerebral combat system, which I think I enjoy a lot. Um, and it's just like, you can't get over how pretty it is. Now let's go a little bit deeper into the combat. You've got these functions here, a bunch of them. You've got 16 points you can spend on the left side of your screen on these functions. They each have their own cost. But more importantly, these functions have slots where you can place other guys. So let's, uh, let's, let's take a look Yours truly. real quick. I'm not supposed to be here. Well, not that anyone else is. I guess the better way so to do this will be, will be like this. So this function right here, it's called crash. Um, it's actually not. It's called, uh, wait, what is this function called? Spawn. Sorry, there's so many weird words going on on the screen. Um, so spawn, no, what is this thing called? It's not called spawn. It's called, what is this function called? Switch. Thank you, switch. So switch by itself, um, you'll see here, alters the target's allegiance, causing it to serve the user. Now, if we place it in an upgrade slot, it will integrate allegiance altering subroutine into most functions, which basically means if I were to put, say, this switch onto my ricochet bullet, um, what it would do was bounce will briefly switch the target's allegiance. So now when I fire off bounce, it will charm other units for five seconds. If I were to put this switch function into a passive slot, it will spawn a friendly bad cell when retrieving cell. So basically give me a little helper. Now let's just mix something up um, so I can show you what it's like. I'm gonna remove this function here, mask. Mask on its own conceals the user's physical self, amplifying the next action taken. So basically a stealth cloak. But if I add mask onto my crash attack, which is sort of my main basic attack, it will deal greater damage if I backstab the target. That's why I was trying to get those behind moves. It adds 25% damage. So it's really cool to play with all of these functions that you unlock. Each one can be used any way you see fit. It's not like there's attacks and then upgrades. Everything is an attack, everything's an upgrade, everything is passive. Um, I hope that makes some sense. I'll admit straight away this is hard to explain, but hopefully you get a little gist of what's going on. It's a very futuristic world because these functions also are almost people in a way they each kind of have their own essence like this one comes from me and this one here comes from a random guy and this one here comes from Lillian Platt like it's a, a very strange futuristic like apocalypse almost where weird things have happened and people have been placed inside these you know electronic functions I don't even begin to know the end of it but I'm trying to, to piece it together as I play. Let's see. These are fun. These are very random uh, little polls and questions. They'll ask us something so strange um, or tell us a news story. Administration scrambles to explain sudden disappearance of historic high-rise landmark. So the full story is that the ever-changing facade, blah, 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 blah. Right, let's go while well, we still can. Um, I can post a comment here. If anybody's reading this near Traverse and leave as soon as you can. Um, but there's been times where I voted on what I want the weather to be like tomorrow, what color the suns that should be. Used to be how many good drinking joints here. So it's very clearly a world that has been entirely manipulated Seaside. and modified by technologies and computers. Um, it's pretty cool. Big battle time. Uh oh. Another upgraded guy with a pretty fast firing weapon that takes pictures of me, as weird as that is. Trying to report me to the authorities. Um, okay, so we've got cheerleaders, which we always have to deal with the cheerleaders first. Let's send in some ricochet shots, get behind it, and see if we can't... Maybe maybe these shields don't even have a butt to get behind. Kind of seems to be how it's going. We knocked it away. So we got to recharge here. Oh, no, chicken man! Stop okay. taking my picture! Snapshot's shooting faster. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, we got to be real careful. So I'm going to teleport... Right here. Now we're getting the backstab we wanted. A little bit there. On. Uh, finish the cheerleader off. We gotta destroy these so that everything is available. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, God. Don't hurt me. Cut it out. Chicken man, can we be friends? This is a massive battle. Look at all this nonsense. Okay, so teleporting um, takes more... Or it takes less of your bar than walking. And you'll notice I have a, an active, like, time bar type thing at the top of my screen that basically... It, it's almost like the Valkyria Chronicles, if anyone's played that game on PlayStation 3. Um, which was sort of a stop-time, uh, action-y strategy RPG. Um, we're using bits of this bar to do attacks and kind of move around the battlefield. And hopefully, 
survive. Now, they move ever so slightly. It's almost like we're in super slow down bullet time when we're in that routine, and, which is nice because as you're hiding from these dudes, you need all the help you can get. So you'll see walking around drains the bar pretty darn fast. Um, one of the functions I haven't shown you that I think we should check out is my dog. I can summon this guy as a helper, and now I've got two functions, or two dudes to carry out functions. I can have him come in here and do attacks, switch back to me, divert attention, and we can finish this fool again off. Get out of here. Good work, team. A team of two, Doggy and Red, working our way through. Oh, chicken. I hate his mortar strikes. These vile eggs. Um, weeds are a very awful process in this uh, game. An evil enemy of the world because what they do is heal. And uh, I'm going to send in some ricocheting shots here that will hopefully ricochet and finish these guys off. Let's see if we can do that. Yes, so it deals damage. Whoa, didn't really work as planned there. Went through the first one, but not the others. Ouch, Ouch. you're going to hurt me. All right, so let's get in here. Ricochet off that guy, then ricochet off this guy. Finish those two off. Teleport away, try to save ourselves a little bit here. I'm going to head towards the clucker. He's going to be my next target. Take the weeds out, though. Um, I do have to remember that I got to get back here to collect these cells, otherwise they will respawn, totally defeating my efforts. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, oh, we need that one too. Okay. So, let's get in here and kill this thing. This is a tough game to commentate. Um, I'm doing my best, though, to explain and, and enjoy and, and share with you guys. It's really something probably to try out for yourselves, and a great game just to, like, chill out, enjoy the soundtrack, enjoy the visuals, wear some headphones, get in the mood. I think it'd be really fun. I've heard it's about five hours long, which seems like a good length for this. And like I said, it's 15 bucks, so I think it's a great value. I, like I said, I totally recommend this. Um, it's a very unique affair, and that's something I'm a big, big, big fan of. All right, so let's send in a lot of ricocheting shots here. Can we send in one more? Nicely done. Bounce, baby, bounce. They're evading all my bounces, but luckily it worked. Okay. We should win this battle, unless something crazy happens like they summon a Godzilla protocol hopefully that doesn't happen um I will I'm gonna I was gonna try to finish this guy off in real time to show you that it is somewhat possible but I don't want to die here all right there we go my uh, my teleport attack has a little damage Who else? on it like I was saying earlier we do level up there's a level up system and I'm not sure if it's a set progression Stay because these these battles aren't random they're in you know set places so I feel like the leveling up must therefore also be set, although you can add more modifiers to your, your character that will increase the rate with which you level up, so... I don't know, like I said, there's a lot of depth here. Okay, where are we going? So pretty. This? Yeah. This is what the Camerata want our town to be. Ooh. All gleary and ciphery. Huh. I'll miss this place. Are we leaving? I guess we're leaving. We'll miss this place, he says. So straight to the high-rise district. We do travel. They've done a good job of keeping the the visuals consistently beautiful, be but also very um, different. Like you're constantly seeing new things, which is fun. Um, as we take this main this gondola. Works. Somewhere higher, chasing down all these bad Next guys, stop, high rise. and listening to our sword lead us along. It's a very fun game, and I think I've given you guys a good taste something of it. Wrong. So something is wrong, and we're going to end on this ready. battle here, fighting against these weeds. Guys and girls, let me know what you think of Transistor in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. I hope you've had a fun time with me as we look at one of the cooler games to come out. Uh, this summer in the period of time before E3, after sort of the uh, the March rush, I think this fits very nicely um, in it's 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 when it was released, like came out at a good time. Hopefully, this game gets the attention it deserves, um, and I, I encourage you guys to check it out if you like what you see. So, without further ado, everybody, thanks again. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate, and until next time, we will see you all later.